You know, this time last week, I think it was, you were on this program and, I, and you said, we're going to have a melt up for stocks. And you know, you were right. I think the word prescient comes to mind, Stuart. Prescient? Oh, well, don't claim too much, son. Uh, <laughs> no, but I think what's interesting is last week what we did talk about is you were starting to see this big rotation. Um, and it happened right after you had the inflation number on Thursday, which came in lower than expected. So a lot of these interest rate sensitive stocks have done really, really well. If you look at like real estate stocks, um, small cap stocks, which are more sensitive to interest rates, they're up 7% in a week. That's a big move. Sure. Meanwhile, you know, the hot stocks, the MAG-7, that's all we talk about, right, was down 7%. So you really saw, start, to sell this, start to see this rally broadening out, um, and you're starting to see money move away from, you know, this huge artificial intelligence mega cap tech trade, which has just been on fire. Well, how long is that going to go on for? Let me how, get long my, this, let me, how, how long is the air going to be sucked out of the AI stocks? Well, first off, let me get my crystal ball. Only joking. I don't know. The problem is you can't pick a top. It's, it's impossible to pick a top. And I don't think we're at the top because I still think there's just, we talked about this last week, but you still have $6.15 trillion sitting in money market funds. People are still very afraid mm -hmm. to invest. But meanwhile, you're getting your 5%. We saw $10 billion going to money market funds this week, which was surprising. We know that rate's going away. We know the Fed's probably going to cut in September. And human, human beings, when it comes to you know, investing, are a little irrational. So that greed factor, I think, is going to kick in. It's going to push those stocks even further up. But you know, when you have a melt-up like that, what comes after that is typically a meltdown. And I know you own Microsoft stock. I do. You're a long-term holder. Yep. And I think your big risk here with those type of stocks, the AI stocks, is they just do nothing for a long time. Remember Microsoft after the big tech bubble burst? It did nothing for like 15 years. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just so unwilling high. to sell and pay capital gains taxes <laughs> up the wazoo. I'm not going to do that. But real fast, though, we've yeah. got this tech outage around the world. At the moment, it seems to be affecting just a couple of stocks, CrowdStrike and Microsoft. Is it going to be restricted to that? I mean, is it a short-term event that goes away? From what I read this morning, it looks like it is more of a contained event, so I don't think you have to worry about it too much. You're not seeing uh, other t tech stocks sell off you know, a lot on that news this morning, so I don't think that's a, it's a big worry that's going to be some sort of like contagion or something like that. Good news. Thanks, Ryan.